At this time, Britain will offer our invocation. Please bow with me in prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for this day and the honor we have to graduate. Thank you for the people in our lives that have made the class of 2020 successful. I pray that you continue to protect and bless my classmates. May we always look to you to make our path straight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Juliana, our salutatorian, will now give her welcome and salutatorian address. 
It is my pleasure to extend a heartfelt welcome to friends, family, teachers, coaches, classmates, and the rest of the Caven Academy's faculty and staff that has helped this day be so special for all of our graduates. My name is Juliana Crosby, and as salutatorian, I have been given the awesome opportunity to welcome all of you to Brookhaven Academy's graduation for the class of 2020. Thank you for being here to mark this special moment with our class. I would like to first thank our wonderful Lord and Savior for allowing us to be here today. Without him, none of this could have happened. To my fellow classmates, I encourage you to always keep the Lord first in whatever you do. One of my favorite verses in Jeremiah 29 reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. God will always there be there to light your path. Secondly, I would like to thank my fellow graduates. This is an important day in all of our lives that we have worked very hard to get to. We have been waiting for this day since we were kids, and it is finally here. It has been an honor to know you all through my years at Brookhaven Academy. I have learned so much from being a part of this awesome class. We have made lasting friendships and unbelievable memories that we will always cherish. Although this is not how we plan to graduate, I am glad that I got to go through my senior year with you guys by my side. Graduation marks the end of one chapter, but also the beginning of another. Robert Frost once said, Two roads diverged in the wood, and I took the road less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. I encourage you, the class of 2020, to not only follow the opportunities available to you, but to follow your heart and pursue a, pursue a cause of particular importance to you. Make your own path and enjoy the years to come. I wish you the best of luck with your future. I would like to next thank our teachers for devoting all of their time to make sure we succeeded and always believing us even if we didn't believe in ourselves. The teachers at Brookhaven Academy are a very special group, especially to put up with us. We haven't always been the easiest group to deal with, but thank you for sticking with us. I have been given the chance to go very close to some, and I will always hold them very dear to my heart. You have, had the, you have all had the profound impact on the development of the students that are graduating today. I speak on behalf of the whole class of 2020 in thanking you for investing in us. I would also like to thank Mr. Case and Coach Kessler for setting an extraordinary example for us to follow. You have both showed us what it is like to be an individual devoted wholeheartedly to the Lord, and I am forever grateful for that. I may not have known Coach Kessler for very long, but this past year he has been at BA, he has shown extreme kindness and care for the students. On the other hand, I've had the privilege to know Mr. Case since I was very young, and I cannot thank him enough for encouraging me, as well as the other seniors, to reach for success and do our best at writing our story for the future. Last but certainly not least, I would like to thank our parents. Thank you for helping us to get where we are today. Thank you for putting up with our attitudes, sacrificing your time, and pushing us to our full potential. Thank you for your constant support and efforts to make the best we can. We will forever be grateful for you. Thank you, Mama, for always loving me unconditionally. And thank you, Daddy, for always seeing me as a shining star and being my best friend. I know I would not be who or where I am today without my mom and dad by my side. And I promise to never forget that I owe it all to you. As I close, I would like to, I would like to thank you for allowing me to speak to you today. These seniors standing before you will always hold a special place in my heart. And I cannot wait to see where the future takes us. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Lucy has graduated with highest honors. She will now give her highest honors address, followed by the benediction. The struggle of life is one of our greatest blessings. It makes us patient, sensitive, and godlike. Helen Keller. The class of 2020. We were born during 9-11, began school amidst Hurricane Katrina, and are now graduating dur during a worldwide pandemic. One can say our lives have always been uncertain. We know all kinds of struggles, from losing a lunch card or hoping that Ms. Culverson forgets about the homework to losing a loved one or a friend. Our class is familiar with it all. Struggle is what makes us strong. It develops our hope. Hope for new beginnings, hope for little moments of joy amongst the chaos, hope for moving forward, and hope for God's plan through the uncertainty of life. We have grown together, played together, cried together, celebrated together, and discovered who we are together. The Brookhaven Academy class of 2020 consists of 31 students, 13 of whom have attended Brookhaven Academy since kindergarten. 
Our grade has seven athletic scholarship recipients, two presidential scholarship recipients, one provost scholarship recipient, and many more. 21 of us have been a part of a state championship team. Two of us have competed in the Dixie Nationals, and all of us are planning to attend college this fall. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, I pray that we have courage and that we face every obstacle with optimism and vigor. As Mr. Case says, two things, great attitude and great effort. Although we currently feel vulnerable, this will lead to growth, for one must be vulnerable in order to be confident. With every hardship comes blessings. The bad will turn to good, and the good will turn to great. May we open our minds to every aspect of life and the world around us, and may we continue to find ourselves through Christ. Life is just starting, and as we grow as I, and as we all grow older, some of us will be married, some of us will have children, some of us will move far away, but all of us will be Brookhaven Academy alumni. As we grow old, I hope life becomes everything we could ever hope and dream. May we live our fullest life serving not only ourselves, but others too. And may we spread joy and laughter everywhere we go. Wherever life takes us, we will always remember the foundation that Brookhaven Academy has placed within us. As senior class president, I am honored to lead the class of 2020. I wish I could be standing in front of all of you today, and I know you wish the same. However, we will always have each other in our thoughts and in our hearts. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to all of our teachers, administration, and coaches who have made an impact on our lives. A big thank you to my family and friends and all the support and love you, have sh you show me every day. <laughs> thank you to the senior parents and all that you have done and sacrificed for us. Thank you, Brookhaven Academy, for everything. I hope to see all of you again one day. May grace and peace be with you. I love you guys, and thank you for an amazing... Thank you for such an amazing experience. The pain that you have been feeling cannot compare to the joy that is coming. Romans 8, 18. Jared is graduating with highest honors. He will now give his highest honors address. Everyone goes through a point in their life when they face adversity and uncertainty. World leaders, politicians, business owners, preachers, teachers, and the list goes on of people who face adversity and uncertainty in their life. But it is this uncertainty and adversity that causes people to become stronger and better than who they were before. The famous founder of Disney and creator of Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney, once said, all the adversity I've had in my life, all my troubles and obstacles, have strengthened me. You may not realize it when it happens, but a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. I believe this quote and the message from it is definitely appropriate for this year's senior class of 2020. When we started out the school year, everything was normal. We rode in on our senior float on the very first day of school. We walked out at homecoming to sad songs and hugged the necks of our loved ones while they were crying. We went on the annual senior field trip to the Renaissance Festival with Miss Culbertson and Miss Allen. We sang Christmas carols at assembly in December. And lastly, we went on the history club field trip with Miss Bravati, where we mainly shopped and ate Gigi's cupcakes. It was not until after this, though, that everything began to go downhill. Spring break came, and a virus by the name of COVID-19 began to ravage the nation. States were making national headlines, shutting down schools, stores, churches, restaurants, and everything else. We, as the senior class of 2020, were all fearful and uncertain of what would happen to the rest of our senior year, the best part of senior year. At first, it was just our senior field trip to Atlanta, Georgia that was canceled. Then, it was prom, followed by the athletic banquet, baseball season, tennis season, the traditional senior ride-in, Vespers, and sadly, the traditional graduation ceremony. This is not the first time we, as the class of 2020, 
have been exposed or experienced adversity and uncertainty, though. If everyone can recall, we were all born in the wake of 9-11. This terrible event, which killed thousands and caused mass hysteria, happened when we were born. Now that we are graduating high school, the terrible coronavirus, which has also killed thousands and caused mass hysteria, is very prevalent. Besides being known as the class that was born around 9-11, we will also be known as the class who graduated in the wake of COVID. I believe everything happens for a reason. God has a plan for our generation and is getting us ready for something bigger by making us stronger now. Even though we didn't go to Atlanta, have prom, and have everything else at the end of senior year carries, and even though we did not get to say goodbye to each other after a wonderful 12 years of being together, and say goodbye to our teachers and give everyone hugs. We will grow stronger and be the next best thing this world has ever seen. I will end this speech with my favorite Bible verse, Romans 8, 28. It says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. With all of this having been said, I want all of my teachers, classmates, friends, and family to know that I am truly grateful for you being a part of my life. I am the person I am today because of you all. To my friends, classmates, and teachers, I love every single one of you and will miss all of you. God bless. Mary is graduating with highest honors. She will now give her highest honors address. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Albus Dumbledore. I believe this quote perfectly embodies what we seniors are going through. We are experiencing a sense of grief and sadness regarding the abrupt and premature ending of our senior year. But we must choose to turn on the light of happiness. We must not let the negative define the memories of our senior year. We have to remember how lucky we are that we have gone to such an amazing school like Brookhaven Academy, which has provided unending support and encouragement throughout our education in a Christian environment. We should remember the amazing teachers and faculty uh, that provided encouragement and pushed us to be the best students that we could possibly be. The teachers at BA are more than just teachers. They are mentors, friends, and sometimes even therapists. They have more than prepared us to enter into the real world, and I'm so grateful for them all. We should also celebrate our parents who have loved us unconditionally, invested in our education, and always been our biggest fans. Although graduation is seen as the most important and exciting event for us seniors, the memories that we have made throughout our years together are far more important because that is what we were going to look back on with joy for the rest of our lives. We can now turn on the light of, in the darkness by thinking of all the fun and happy times we have shared. Think about singing Christmas carols for chapel, reaching for success with Coach Case, Miss Kelly singing about her Christmas balls, our junior production, and our senior homecoming. Life is not free from darkness and adversity, but the teachings of our faith will always be our light during these times. We can turn to Ecclesiastes 11.9, which says, You who are young, be happy while you are young, and let your heart give you joy in the days of your youth. Lindsay is graduating with highest honors. She will now present her highest honors address. Tough times never last, but tough people do. Robert H. Schuler. Never in my eight years at Brookhaven Academy did I think it would end like this. I expected to graduate with my whole class all at once while my friends and family watched. It isn't supposed to be 15 minutes long for each graduate. We never got the chance to have Vespers and pass our flame to the junior class. I expected to go to my senior prom and dance with my best friends until my legs hurt. Ever since the fifth grade, I have watched the seniors ride in on their last day, and I would think to myself, I can't wait until it's my turn. 
Senior parties were canceled or postponed, which were some of the last gatherings planned for our class. Our senior trip had many adjustments made to it that really weren't wanted. We celebrated our first day of school like it, was, like it wasn't a big deal. We just couldn't wait for our last. Much like many others in my class, I claimed to have senioritis all year long. Little did I know I would miss it more than anything. COVID-19 has destroyed my year, but I couldn't have gotten through it without the support of my classmates, family, and friends. It was not only hard on me, but everyone involved. The pandemic made us connect in a way that we never suspected. It made me realize that there's more to high school than the tests we take and the classes we attend. It's about lifelong friendships and memories made. All the pep rallies, sports events, assemblies, homecomings, senior nights, and last games will be the highlights when we go back and think about high school. Many lessons were taught to me that I will forever remember, and teachers had a bigger impact on me than I realized. I loved Brookhaven Academy, and I always will. My class has a place in my heart that can never be touched. I'm thankful that I was able to grow up in such a loving environment that preached the entire way. The next time that we are in a classroom, it will be with a completely different school and completely different classmates. Hopefully the class of 2020 remembers this hard time that we got through together and uses that to fuel bigger and better things in life. I pray that this class continues to remember the good times that we did share. We must continue to let God have the handle on our lives as we sit back and trust in Him. Senior year might have ended abruptly, but God is not done with us yet. Ephesians 3.20 says, God has more in store for you than you can even imagine. Hallie is graduating with highest honors. She will now give her highest honors speech. Walt Disney once said, why worry? If you've done the very best you can, then worrying won't make it any better. As me and my classmates began our senior year back in August, it was with great excitement and anticipation. We had waited since kindergarten to enjoy our last sports season, last homecoming dance, senior prom, senior skip day, and the senior ride-in. While we did get to experience most of those events, we didn't get to finish as we hoped. Due to the COVID-19 virus and the challenges and changes that it brought to our community, nation, and world, we were forced to make a choice. We could forge ahead or we could let worry occupy our thoughts. Back in March, when we learned that school would not resume, we seniors could have been angry at the situation, chosen to be bitter, felt sorry for ourselves because our senior year was being taken away from us, and just stayed home and lost excitement during the last few weeks of our high school careers. But we didn't. We chose to learn online and excel in academics. We found creative ways to stay connected with our friends, and we made new friends when meeting our neighbors on walks around the neighborhood. We learned that the church is not a building, but a body of believers that worship together, even if it's by a live webcast. We made going out for takeout a big deal, and even celebrated being able to purchase toilet paper. We didn't worry about missing out or of what tomorrow would bring or if the world would ever be the same as it was before. We stayed strong, remained focused on the future, and looked forward to better days. We did the very best that we could, but most importantly, we did as one humanity because we were, and still are, in it together. Matthew 6, 25-27 says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body. What you will wear is not life more about food and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying at a single hour to your life? I know that my God is mighty and will take care of me, and while I don't know exactly what my future holds, I do know that he is in control, and he will guide my path and provide for me. Jeremiah 29, 11 tells me, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to pro prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a future. Even though I didn't graduate 
grow up at Brookhaven Academy, it felt like home. I was provided an environment to learn, discover more of who I am, make some amazing friends, create memories that last a lifetime. I started this chapter elsewhere, but I'm thankful for Coach Case, the faculty and staff and coaches, for making me feel at home to close this chapter in my life. I will forever be grateful for the memories that we played over and over in my head when I think about my time at Brookhaven Academy. I did my best and I will always be Cougar Blue. Thank you. In 2019 2020, Brookhaven Academy graduate Gracie Marie Malone, daughter of Carrie and Sandy Smith and Ronnie and Holly Malone. Gracie plans to attend the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Gracie's career plan is to, is to major in nursing with plans of becoming a nurse practitioner in women's health or fertility. Gracie's awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a crew of series scholarship, member of the 30 plus ACT club, academic excellence award for having a 90 or higher grade point average for this school year, community service award for 100 or more volunteer hours this school year, community service award for earning over 500 volunteer hours in grades nine through 12, teenage Republican award for volunteer service, highest average in accounting, Highest average in college composition two, highest average in college algebra, highest average in economics, member of the quiz bowl, member of the old capital bowl team, science national honor society member, veterans of foreign war volunteer service award, president's volunteer service award, Brookhaven Academy's English award, Gracie has the highest cumulative average in English courses from grades 9 through 12. Brookhaven Academy Science Award. Gracie has the highest cumulative average in science courses from grades 9 through 12. Special Honor Graduate. Brookhaven Academy's Valedictorian. The Valedictorian Award is given to the student with the highest numerical average for all Carnegie units in the graduating class. Member of Brookhaven Academy's Hall of Fame. Her scholarships include the University of Alabama of Birmingham Blazer Presidential Full Tuition Scholarship and the C. Graham Herring Scholarship. Gracie, you may now move your tax. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate Gracie Marie Malone. In 2019, 2020, Brookhaven Academy graduate, Juliana Risa Crosby. Daughter of Ricky and Lisa Crosby, Juliana plans to attend Kapow Lincoln Community College and pursue a career as a dermatology nurse practitioner. <laughs> Juliana's awards include Mississippi Scholar and recipient of a King Daughters Medical Center Scholarship member of the ACT 25 plus club, academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year, highest average in computer two, highest average in college algebra, highest average in anatomy and physiology, highest average in government, member of the Mississippi College math and science team, science national honor society member, national honor society president, member of Brookhaven Academy's Cougarette Dance Team, Girls Soccer All District Team Member, <laughs> Girls Soccer Most Improved Player, Brookhaven Academy's Mathematics Award, Juliana has the highest cumulative average in math courses from grades 9th through 12th grade, Special Honor Graduate, Female Citizenship Award Recipient, 
citizenship awards are nominated and voted for by the faculty. Brookhaven Academy's salutatorian. The salutatorian award is given to the student with the second highest numerical average for all Carnegie units in the graduating class. Member of Brookhaven Academy's Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame awards are awarded to seniors who have attended Brookhaven Academy for all four years of high school. It is based on a point system that includes academic excellence, activities, honors, athletics, academic competitions, and citizenship. Her scholarships include National Honor Society Scholarship, Trustmark Scholar Athlete Scholarship, Trustmark Bank recognizes students who excel in both athletics and academics. Each year, male and female with the highest grade point average who plays two or more sports their senior year are recognized. Kapile Lincoln Community, Community College Taylor's Presidential Full Tuition Scholarship. Juliana, you may now move your tassel. Okay. <laughs> 2019, 2020, Brookhaven Academy graduate, Juliana Risa Crosby. <laughs> Two thousand and nineteen, two thousand and twenty, Brookhaven Academy graduate Lucy Alice LeBlanc, daughter of Mark and Dorothy LeBlanc. Lucy plans to attend Mississippi State University and pursue a degree in chemical engineering. Lucy's awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a King Daughters Medical Center scholarship, member of the ACT Thirty Plus Club. Academic Excellence Award for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year. Community Service Award for 50 or more volunteer hours this school year. Community Service Award for earning over 300 volunteer hours grades 9 through 12. Highest Average in Calculus. Highest Average in Economics. Quiz Bowl Member. Old Capital Bowl Member. Science National Honor Society Member. University of Southern Mississippi Best of Fair winner. This title allowed Lucy to participate in the International Science Fair. Most Valuable Soccer Player. All State Soccer Member. Special Honor Graduate. Cougar Spirit Award. Member of the Brookhaven Academy's Hall of Fame. Scholarships include Mississippi State University Provost Scholarship. Mississippi State University Swam Scholarship, Mississippi State University Melfred Borzal Scholarship, Mississippi State University Freshman Mississippi Resident Academic Excellence Scholarship, Mississippi State University Freshman Mississippi Resident Covert Full Future Leader Scholarship, Mississippi Eminent Scholars Grant. National Honor Society Outstanding Member Scholarship, Science National Honor Society Scholarship. Lucy, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020, Brookhaven Academy graduate, Lucy Owls LeBlanc. Brookhaven Academy graduate Jarek Layton Lee, son of Jeff and Lisa Lee. Jarek plans to attend the University of Southern Mississippi to pursue a career as a financial analyst. Jarek's awards include Mississippi Scholar and recipient of a Miller and Company Incorporation Scholarship, member of the ACT 30 Plus Club, academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average this year, Cougar Male Soccer Award, member of the Mississippi College Math and Science Tournament Team, member of the Math and Science Quiz Bowl Team, member and captain of the Quiz Bowl, member and captain of the Old Capital Bowl Team, 
Science National Honor Society member, highest average in accounting, highest average in English 4, highest average in college composition 1, highest average in college composition 2, highest average in college algebra, highest average in physics, highest average in government. Brookhaven Academy's History Award, Jared has the highest cumulative average in social studies courses from grades 9 through 12. Special Honor Graduate, Male Citizenship Award recipient, Citizenship Awards are nominated and voted for by the faculty. Member of Brookhaven Academy's Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame awards are awarded to seniors who have attended Brookhaven Academy for all four years of high school. It is based on a point system that includes academic excellence, activities, honors, athletics, academic competitions, and citizenship. Also, he was awarded Star Student. The Star Student is awarded by the Mississippi Economic Council to the student who has the highest ACT and an average for 93 or above for their high school years. Jared will now introduce the Star Teacher. The star teacher for the 2019 through 2020 school year is a very dear friend of mine. It is Ms. Denise Bravati. <laughs> Jarek's scholarships include the University of Southern Mississippi Academic Excellence Full Tuition Scholarship, University of Southern Mississippi Star Student Scholarship, University of Southern Mississippi Fair Scholarship, National Honor Society Outstanding Member Scholarship, the John R. Gray Scholarship. This scholarship is sponsored by the Bank of Brookhaven and is awarded to a member of the graduating class and is selected by the faculty based on leadership, scholarship, and community service. Trustmark Scholar Athlete Scholarship. Trustmark recognizes students who excel in both athletics and academics. Each year, a male and female with the highest grade point average who plays two or more sports their senior year are chosen. Alan Smith Memorial Scholarship. Alan Smith would have been a graduate of the class of 1996, but he lost his life in an automobile accident just a week before he was to begin his seventh grade year here at Brookhaven Academy. In his memory, his parents, Rodney and Geraldine Smith, his sisters, Deanna Smith Culberson and Karen Smith Fleming, along with other donors, have established in his honor a $1,000 scholarship. This scholarship, chosen by the family upon the recommendation of the faculty and staff, goes to a student who has some of the characteristics Allen possessed. In particular, the family has asked that a student or students be chosen who share Allen's love of baseball, his desire for academic excellence, and most importantly, his desire to show the spirit of Christianity in every aspect of his life. This year, Alan R. Smith Memorial Scholarship recipient is Jared Lee. Also, Jared received the Love, Life, and Live It Memorial Scholarship. The family of Russ Michael Mango and the Bank of Brookhaven present a scholarship each year called the Love, Life, and live it in his memory. Russ Michael was in the five-year-old kindergarten program here at Brookhaven Academy when he went home to be with the Lord. He was always happy, adventurous, and as you can imagine, a little mischievous at times. In six short years, he gave us so much love and laughter. His most memorable trait was his laughter and a smile that would light up any room. As his journey in this world began to come to an end, he began to understand who his dearest friend truly is, Jesus. The last Bible verse he recited at school was John 3:16. There will be lots of decisions that you seniors will make in life, but the most important will be the decision to ask Jesus into your heart and follow him. At this time, the family of Russ Michael Mango and the Bank of Brookhaven would like to present the Love, Life, and Live It Scholarship Jared Lee. Finally, Jared has received the Jeffrey Johnson Memorial Scholarship. Jared, at this time, you may move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Jared 
Layton Lee. In 2019 2020, Brookhaven Academy graduate Marion Elizabeth Waltman, daughter of Michael and Kathy Waltman. Marion plans to attend Mississippi State University to pursue a chemical engineering degree. Marion's awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a King Daughters Medical Center Scholarship, member of the ACT 25 Plus Club. Academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year. Science National Honor Society member. Highest average in college algebra. Highest average in economics. Leadership award for Brookhaven Academy cheer. Special honor graduate. Senior leadership and team captain award in tennis. Marion has also received the following scholarships. Mississippi State University Freshman Academic Excellence Scholarship. Mississippi State University Covert Future Leader Scholarship. Mississippi State University SWAM Scholarship. And Mississippi Eminent Scholars Scholarship. Marion, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020. Brookhaven Academy graduate, Marion Elizabeth Waldman. Two thousand and nineteen, two thousand and twenty, Brookhaven Academy graduate, Lindsay Lee Norton, daughter of Shane and Leanne Norton. Lindsay plans to attend Southwest Community College. Lindsay's career plan is to become a nurse and specialize in psychology. Lindsay's awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a Southwest Community College scholarship, member of the ACT 25 Plus Club. Academic Excellence Award for having a 90 or higher grade point average for this school year. Science National Honor Society member. Girls Soccer Co-Defensive Player of the Year. All-State Girls Soccer member. Leadership Award for Brookhaven Academy Cheerleading. Special Honor Graduate. Lindsay Scholarships include Southwest Community College ACT Full Tuition Scholarship. Southwest Community College Athletic Scholarship for Soccer, the Hannah Hart Smith Memorial Scholarship. Hannah was a 2006 graduate of Brookhaven Academy. She enrolled here in 1992 as a K-4 student. Hannah loved Brookhaven Academy, its teachers and its students. She played soccer and ran track for the Cougars. Hannah loved the outdoors and all it offered. She was an avid fisherman and hunter. Hannah had a passionate zest for life and an unyielding free spirit and was loved by all who knew her. It is on these qualities that her scholarship was established. Lindsay, you may now move your tassel. 2019, 2020, Brookhaven Academy graduate, Lindsay Lee Norton. Two thousand and nineteen, two thousand and twenty, Brookhaven Academy graduate Hallie McGee Creel, daughter of Bradley and Leanne Creel, 
Hallie plans to attend Mississippi College and pursue a career working with children with special needs. Hallie's awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a Mississippi College Scholarship, Academic Excellence Award for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year, highest average in government, highest average in economics, Science National Honor Society member, Brookhaven Academy Girls Basketball Second Team All District, Brookhaven Academy Girls Basketball Senior Award winner, Brookhaven Academy Girls Softball MAIS All-Star, Brookhaven Academy Girls Softball MAIS All-District Player, Brookhaven Academy Girls Lady Cougar Leadership winner, Brookhaven Academy Special Honor Graduate. Hallie also has the following scholarships from Mississippi College, an athletic scholarship for softball, academic scholarship, leadership scholarship, alumni scholarship, sibling scholarship, and also the Mississippi Impact Scholarship. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Hallie McGee Creel. Two thousand and nineteen, two thousand twenty, Brookhaven Academy graduate Brianna Faith Anderson. Brianna is a daughter of Brian and Tammy Anderson. Brianna plans to attend the Daytona State College and pursue a career in interior design. She's a Mississippi scholar and a recipient of a scholarship from King's Daughters Medical Clinic Auxiliary. She's a member of the ACT 25 Plus Club academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year, community service award for earning 50 or more hours this school year. She's a Science National Society member and also a Brookhaven Academy honor graduate. Brianna, you may move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Brianna Faith Anderson. Brookhaven Academy graduate Gracie Layton Smith, daughter of Brandy Smith and Chris Smith. Gracie plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College to pursue a career in the medical field. Gracie's awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a Crew of Series Scholarship, Academic Excellence Award for having a 90 or higher grade point average this year, Highest Average in Physical Science, Community Service Award for 300 or more volunteer hours this school year. Community Service Award for earning over 800 volunteer hours grades 9 through 12. Teenage Republican Award for volunteer service. Science National Honor Society member. Brookhaven Academy Honor Graduate. Her scholarships include a scholarship to Kapow Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship. Gracie, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020, Brookhaven Academy graduate, Gracie Layton Smith. Two thousand nineteen, two thousand twenty, Brookhaven Academy graduate Olivia Grace Lewis, daughter of Keith and Bethany Lewis. Olivia plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College. Olivia's career plans are undecided at this time. Her awards include Mississippi Scholar and recipient of a Bank of Brookhaven scholarship, Academic Excellence Award for having a ninety or higher grade point average for this school year. Community Service Award for 50 or more volunteer service hours this school year. Girls Soccer All District Member. Girls Soccer Coaches Award. Girls Basketball Second Team All District Member. 
Girls Basketball Coaches Award, Girls Basketball Senior Award, Brookhaven Academy Honor Graduate, Brookhaven Academy Cougar Spirit Award. The Cougar Spirit Award is presented each year for Brookhaven Academy Athletics and is the highest athletic honor earned yearly by one outstanding senior young man and one outstanding senior young woman. The Cougar Spirit Award represents a cumulative body of work achieved throughout an entire career here at Brookhaven Academy by its recipient. In short, the award recognizes and celebrates athletes who represent the best example of the Brookhaven Academy student athlete for not only this year, but also over the past several years in blue and white. More than just wins and losses and statistic achievements, this year's recipients embody the criteria of the award which include career excellence in sportsmanship, self-discipline, resilience, leadership, dependability, team-oriented mindset, perseverance, dedication to not only self-improvement but also team performance, multiple sports participated, and respect for teammates, coaches, and even opponents. Cougar Spirit Award winners demonstrate a career-long devotion to the mission of Brookhaven Academy, not only on the field, but also in the classroom and community. Our recipients are the prototypes for what is meant by quality education in a Christian environment. It is a true blessing that the decision process is difficult every year to name only two recipients because so many seniors are deserving of this award, which reflects also upon the qualities of our coaches, faculty, administrators, and staff, but even more greatly upon the parents and families of our honoree. In 2020, concluding the most challenging and unique athletic year at Brookhaven Academy and joining a pantheon of previous outstanding recipients, it's my honor to congratulate Olivia Lewis, our 2020 Female Cougar Spirit Award recipient. Olivia also has received numerous scholarships, which include Kapow Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship, Kapow Lincoln Community College K.R. Hodges Endowment Scholarship, Kapow Lincoln Community College Athletic Soccer Scholarship, Mississippi Board of Supervisors Scholarship, Hannah Hart Smith Memorial Scholarship, the Love, Life, and Live It Memorial Scholarship. At this time, the family of Russ Michael Mango and the Bank of Brookhaven would like to present the Love, Life, and Live It Scholarship to Miss Olivia Lewis. Olivia, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Olivia Grace Lewis. Nineteen, two 2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate Maggie Grace Sanford, daughter of Chad and Colette Sanford and Marcy Chauvin. Maggie plans to attend Kapow Lincoln Community College to pursue a career in elementary education. Maggie's awards include academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average for this school year, co-defensive soccer player of the year, all district soccer team member, Brookhaven Academy Honor Graduate. Maggie has received a Kapow Lincoln Community College Jim and Martha Lightsey Endowment Scholarship. Maggie, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy Graduate, Maggie Grace Sanford.
2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Mackenzie Alexis Brown, daughter of Bill and Lisa Brown. Mackenzie plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College and pursue a career in X-ray technician with a focus on sonography. Her awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of King Daughters Medical Center Auxiliary Scholarship. Academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average for this school year and Brookhaven Academy Honor Graduate. Her scholarships include Veterans of Foreign War Voice of Democracy Scholarship. Kenzie, you may now move your tassel. Two thousand and nineteen, two thousand and twenty, Brookhaven Academy graduate Mackenzie Alexis Brown. <laughs> Brookhaven Academy graduate Lexi Michelle Alexander. Lexi is daughter of Dusty and Kayla Roberts and Brett and Monica Alexander. Lexi plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College and her career plans are radiology. Lexi's awards, 2019-2020 Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a scholarship to Colin. Lexi is a member of the ACT 25 Plus Club. Academic Excellence Award for maintaining a 90 or higher grade point average for this school year. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy Honor Graduate. Scholarships, Kapow Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship and Kapow Lincoln Community College Mississippi Scholar Scholarship. Lexi, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Gunner Eli Brister, son of Chris and Jennifer Brister. Gunner plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College to pursue a degree in business or accounting. Gunner's awards, highest average in Bible, all district football team member, best defensive football player. Gunner, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Gunner Eli Brister. <laughs> 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Kelly McKenzie Brister. Kelly is the daughter of Andrea Brister and the late Mark Brister. Kelly plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College. Her, her career plans at this time are undecided. Her awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a King Daughters Medical Center Foundation Scholarship, academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year, community service award for earning 50 or more hours this school year, member of the Cougarette dance team, top female archery shooter, most improved archery member. Her scholarships include Kapile Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship, Kapile Lincoln Community College Colette Scholarship. Kelly, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Kelly McKenzie Brister. <laughs> 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Mary Ellen Brock. Mary Ellen is the daughter of James and Kelly Brock she plans to attend Mississippi State University 
and her, her career plans at this time are undecided. Her awards for 2019 and 2020 include Mississippi Scholar and recipient of a scholarship to Mississippi State University, Academic Excellence Award for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year, Community Service Award for having 100 or more volunteer hours this school year, Community Service Award for earning over 450 hours from 9th to 12th grade, Leadership Award for Brookhaven Academy Cheer. Her scholarships include Mississippi State University Freshman Academic Excellence Scholarship and Girl Scout Gold Award Scholarship. Mary Ellen, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Mary Ellen Brock. Two thousand and nineteen, two thousand and twenty Brookhaven Academy graduate Harrison Cal Brownlee. Harrison is the son of Cal and Clancy Brownlee. Harrison plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College and pursue a career in automation and control and technical engineer. Harrison, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020, Brookhaven Academy graduate, Harrison Cal Brownlee. 2019-2020, Brookhaven Academy graduate, Kaylee Joyce Burgess, daughter of Kelly and Shelley Burgess, Kaylee plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College and pursue a career in nursing. Her awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a King Daughters Medical Center Scholarship and also Brookhaven Academy Softball Coaches Award recipient. And her scholarships include a Kapile Lincoln Community College Softball Athletic Scholarship. Kaylee, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Kaylee Joyce Burgess. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, William Brooks Burt, son of Jim and Christy Burt, Brooks plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College and pursue a career in electrical technology and welding. Brooks is a Mississippi scholar and a recipient of the First United Methodist Men Scholarship. His scholarships include a Kapile Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship. Brooks, you may move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, William Brooks Burt. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Timmy Lynn, son of Andy Lynn and Deanna Lynn. Timmy plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College and pursue a degree in business. His awards include academic excellence for maintaining a 90 or higher grade point average for this school year, top male shooter for the archery team, team captain in tennis, senior leadership award in tennis, Timmy's Scholarship, Kapile Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship. Timmy, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020, 
Brookhaven Academy graduate, Timmy Lynn. a 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Jackson David Logan, son of David and Becky Lynn Logan. Jackson plans to attend Capile Lincoln Community College. His career plan is to become an attorney. Jackson's awards include a member of the ACT 25 Plus Club and Brookhaven Academy's Football Coaches Award recipient. His scholarships include Kapow Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship. Jackson, you may now move your tassel. Two thousand and nineteen, two thousand twenty, Brookhaven Academy graduate Jackson David Logan. Brookhaven Academy graduate Luke John Lorraine, son of Donald and Laura Lorraine. Luke plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College to pursue a career as a computer technician. Luke's awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a Bank of Franklin Scholarship. Academic Excellence Award for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year. Highest average in advanced algebra and highest average in statistics. His scholarship is Kapile Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship. Luke, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate Luke John Lorraine. The 19, 2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Britton Guy Nelson, son of Guy and Paige Nelson. Britton plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College. After graduating from Colin, Britton will continue his education at Mississippi State University, majoring in business administration. Britton's awards include academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average for this year, Community Service Award for 50 or more volunteer hours this school year. Community Service Award for earning over 300 volunteer hours in grades 9 through 12. 2019-2020 Student Body President. Most Valuable Player for the Boys Basketball Team. All District Basketball Team Member. MAIS Basketball All-Star. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy Boys Basketball All-Star, member of Brookhaven Academy's Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame awards are awarded to seniors who have attended Brookhaven Academy for all four years of high school. It is based on a point system that includes academic excellence, activities, honors, athletics, academic competitions, and citizenship. Britain's scholarships include Kapow Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship, Kapow Lincoln Community College Leadership Scholarship, the Brookhaven Academy Student Council Presidential Scholarship, and the Bob McCullough Memorial Scholarship. Britain, you may now move your tassel. 
2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Britton Guy Nelson. Brookhaven Academy graduate, William Nicholas Ogden. Nick's parents are Michelle Smith and Bill Ogden. He plans to attend Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. Nick wants to pursue a career in education and come back to Brookhaven to coach and teach. Nick's awards include 2019-2020 Most Valuable Football Player, 2019-2020 All-District Football Team Member. His scholarship includes Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College Athletic Scholarship for Baseball. Nick, you may now move your task. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate William Nicholas Ogden. Haven Academy graduate, Piker Christian Ratman, son of Chad and Colette Sanford and Kelly and Chrissy Ratman. Piker plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College to become an engineer. Piker's awards include academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average for this year, Boys Basketball Senior Leadership Award, Boys Basketball Second Team All District. Piker has received a Kapile Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship. Piker, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Piker Christian Ratliff. Brookhaven Academy graduate Adrian Faye Smith, daughter of Claude and Terry Smith. Adrian plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College. Adrian's career plan is to receive a bachelor's degree in elementary education. Adrian's awards include academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year and the highest average in physical science. Adrian, you may now move your task. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate Adrian Faye Smith. In 2020, Brookhaven Academy graduate Hayden Scott Smith, son of Josh and Tammy Smith. Hayden plans to attend Kapile Lincoln Community College and major in business. Hayden's awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a Bank of Brookhaven Scholarship, Academic Excellence Award for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year. Hayden, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate Hayden Scott Smith.
2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate, Brady Everett Spring, son of Randy and Amy Spring. Brady plans to attend Jones Community College to pursue a career in coaching at the college level. Brady's awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a Rotary Club Scholarship, Academic Excellence Award for having a 90 or higher grade point average this school year, Community Service Award for 50 or more volunteer hours this school year, Cougar Baseball's Most Valuable Player, Cougar Spirit Award winner. The Cougar Spirit Award is nominated and voted for by the faculty. The Brookhaven Academy Cougar Athletic Spirit Award. The Cougar Spirit Award is presented each year for Brookhaven Academy Athletics and is the highest athletic honor earned yearly by one outstanding senior young man and one outstanding senior young woman. The Cougar Spirit Award represents a cumulative body of work achieved throughout an entire career here at Brookhaven Academy by its recipient. In short, the award recognizes and celebrates athletes who represent the best example of the Brookhaven Academy student athlete for not only this year, but also over the past several years in blue and white. More than just wins and losses and statistical achievements, this year's recipients embody the criteria of the award which include a career excellence in sportsmanship, self-discipline, resilience, leadership, dependability, team-oriented mindset, perseverance, dedication to not only self-improvement but also team performance, multiple sports participated, and respect for teammates, coaches, and even opponents. Cougar Spirit Award winners demonstrate a career-long devotion to the mission of Brookhaven Academy, not only on the field, but also in the classroom and community. Our recipients are the prototypes for what is meant by quality education in a Christian environment. It is a true blessing that the decision process is difficult every year to name only two recipients because so many seniors are deserving of this award, which reflects also upon the qualities of our coaches, faculty, administrators and staff, but even more greatly upon the parents and families of our honoree. In 2020, concluding the most challenging and unique athletic year at Brookhaven Academy and joining a pantheon of previous outstanding recipients, it is my honor to congratulate Brady Spring as our 2020 Male Cougar Spirit Award recipient. Brady has also received a scholarship to Jones Community College uh, to play baseball. And also he has received the Alan Smith Memorial Scholarship. Alan Smith would have been a graduate of the class of 1996, but he lost his life in an automobile accident just a week before he was to begin his seventh grade year here at Brookhaven Academy. In his memory, his parents, Rodney and Geraldine Smith, his sisters, Deanna Smith Culberson and Karen Smith Fleming, along with other donors, have established in his honor two $500 scholarships. This scholarship, chosen by the family upon the recommendation of the faculty and staff, goes to a student who has some of the characteristics Allen possessed. In particular, the family has asked that a student or students be chosen who share Allen's love of baseball, his desire for academic excellence, and most importantly, his desire to show the spirit of Christianity in every aspect of his life. This year's Allen R. Smith Memorial Scholarship recipient goes to Brady Spring. Brady, you may now move your tassel. Two thousand and nineteen, two thousand and twenty, Brookhaven Academy graduate Brady Everett Spring.
2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate Tanner Jason Watts, son of Jason and Heather Watts. Tanner plans to attend Kapow Lincoln Community College to pursue a degree in business. Tanner is the 2019-2020 Cougar Baseball's Pitcher of the Year. His scholarships include Kapow Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship, Kapow Lincoln Community College Athletic Full Tuition Scholarship for Baseball. Tanner, you may move your task. Two thousand and nineteen, two thousand and twenty, Brookhaven Academy graduate Tanner Jason Watts. Two thousand and nineteen, two thousand and twenty, Brookhaven Academy graduate Sadie Madison Wilson, daughter of Richard and Tony Wilson. Sadie plans to attend Kapow Lincoln Community College to pursue a career in nursing. Her awards include Mississippi Scholar and a recipient of a Belt Cachero Scholarship, academic excellence for having a 90 or higher grade point average for this school year. Sadie has received a Kapow Lincoln Community College Academic Excellence Scholarship. Sadie, you may now move your tassel. 2019-2020 Brookhaven Academy graduate Sadie Madison Wilson. Gracie is Brookhaven Academy's valedictorian. At this time, she will present the valedictorian address. The unknown title. Bob Goff once said, embrace uncertainty. Some of the most beautiful chapters in our lives won't have a title until much later. These last few months have been extremely cloudy with uncertainty for much of the world. I can remember many instances where some of my classmates were joking about this coronavirus that was half a world away from us. Little did we know that it would be affecting us only a couple of months later. When we entered the school halls on March the 6th, 2020, we had no idea that it was going to be our last time together as Brookhaven Academy seniors. We were overjoyed at the fact that we were about to start our last nine weeks of our senior year and then we were finally going to graduate. We were looking forward to going on our Atlanta trip with Mrs. Culbertson. We were so looking forward to being on the dance floor with our class one more time at senior prom. I know that I can speak for the entire Brookhaven Academy class of 2020 when I say we thought we had more time. We thought we had more time to tell our teachers goodbye or to tell them one more joke. We thought we had more time to listen to Miss Allen yell shut the door or one more time to worry about saying the Canterbury Tales, or writing our dreaded term paper. I'm so sorry, Ms. Culbertson. Or studying for one of Dr. Watson's physics tests. Our senior year was supposed to be the best year of our lives. We were going to be the big dogs of the school. We were the bosses now. Everyone in the school wanted to be us. Now, in the midst of all this craziness, no one wants to be the class of 2020. To my fellow classmates, I am beyond proud of how we have handled this situation. We have been through so much as a generation. We were born into the world right before or right after the world was shocked to its core with the attacks of September the 11th, 2001. We were very young when Katrina rocked the South. We grew up in the age of technology and advancement. We have made the best of the last few months. This pandemic has given us the opportunity to become closer as a class, and we have taken full advantage of that. The class of 2020 will forever be stronger because of this pandemic. 
The only reason we have made it through this pandemic the way we have is because of the strong support system that has backed us up all along the way. First, I would like to thank the wonderful faculty and staff that has provided us with not only a strong Christian foundation, but also an outstanding educational foundation. I would personally like to thank Ms. Brandy Barrett for always being so kind and listening when we needed someone to talk to. I would also like to extend a huge thank you to Mrs. Leslie Hood for not only pushing me, but countless others to do the best we can on our ACT. We would not be where we are today if it were not for you. I would also like to thank our parents for always believing in us and pushing us to do our best in whatever we were involved in. Whether that be a sport, or one of Mrs. Colbertson's English test, or one of Dr. Watson's chemistry test. Granddad, I know you're watching, and I did it. I would also like to say a huge thank you to my fellow senior classmates for a memorable seven years. The memories of learning choreography for our junior production and the activities the night before we started our senior year will stick with me for a lifetime. Brookhaven Academy, thank you for the memories. The class of 2020 is forever grateful for our time here. I know I speak for the entire senior class when I say the past four years have been nothing short of amazing. I know for a fact that the class of 2020 will never be forgotten. I truly do believe that Cougar Blue never leaves you. I would like to close with one of my favorite Bible verses, 1 John 4.4. 4. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them, because the one who is in you is greater than who is in the world. Thank you again for coming to the class of 2020's graduation ceremony, and God bless. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you have blessed us with. Thank you for the family and friends around us that guide us and care for us. Thank you for Brookhaven Academy and its faculty. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us. Lord, I pray for those who are suffering from COVID-19. I also pray for those who are unemployed and that you will provide for them. I pray for the first responders and that you will comfort them. I pray for the leaders of our country that, you will see, that they will seek your guidance and have faith. I pray for the well-being and health of our country and that we will overcome COVID-19. I pray for all of the graduating seniors. May we walk in your will and delight in your way as we move on to the next stages of our life. Please help us to see joy in all circumstances. And today, thank you for the rain. I pray we choose to dance in it and rejoice in it. Please forgive us for our sins, and we love you, Lord. In the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, amen. By the power invested in me and on behalf of the Brookhaven Academy Educational Foundation and Board of Directors, I certify that each one of these students has met all the requirements and fulfilled all the prerequisites for graduation. Along with this, we recognize their graduation from Brookhaven Academy as a school accredited by the Southern Association of Independent Schools and the Mid-South Association of Independent Schools.